Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 33 of Direwolf20's... Oh, I'm for Blaze. Do I not have Blaze Powder? What the what? Blaze Powder. I have Blaze Powder? What are you doing? No Blaze Powder. Okay, that was weird. Of uh, Enigmatica 6, where I'm today playing with Apotheosis some more. Last episode, we got some really ridiculous enchants. Uh, and that's exciting, right? So now I wanted to check out this guy, Durability 192. So I think... Okay, how fast does he drain? Is it like once a second? Uh, ish? Ish? So is that about a minute and a half to two minutes worth of uh, durability, depending on how long that durability burns down? Now, I wonder if I can repair that. Cause that would be cool. Not that the not that it was super expensive to make this, but you know, I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean there's the mending book. Do you have any enchants you can go on you? No. That would be too OP. Uh Mossy Ring from Lost Trinket. Slowly repair held items. That's cool. But that's gonna be like, you know. A uh, uh, random chance to drop. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out if there's anything that we can use to like cheesily repair things. Cause I imagine there's something in the pack that'll do it. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But anyway, uh, the reason I got this is in theory I activate it and then I kill things and then I get lots of experience. I believe that is the way it works. So let's do a little experiment here, right? I kill spider. I have two and a little bit. I activate, and then I kill Spider. Whoa, I have eight levels of experience. Well, that's a lot. Yes, 100% 4xing my experience game right there. Well, this is not a bad trinket at all. That is not a terrible trinket, even a little bit bad. That is a very nice trinket, and I like it. I like it. My goodness, look how many creepers are over there. That is pretty cool. This was a good decision. Come here, creepers. Give me all your experiences. Hey, not bad. 34 levels already. That is not bad at all. And I'm gonna store all that stuff away. Then reactivate you and kill some more creepers. Oh yeah. Don't forget you can spam click when you've got this trinket that I've got. If you happen to get lucky enough to get this awesome trinket that I got. Ha! <laughs> all the spam clickings. And all the experience earnings. Not bad. I'm trying to be a little conservative with the durability, as you can see. Because it doesn't last super long. It will burn up pretty quick. But I mean, like I said, it's two bottles of enchanting to make this thing. It's not hard. Uh, we got the bottles last episode. So, I mean, I'm not worried about having to make more than one. Yes, very good. Look at that, how cool. Man, that's a bananas level amount of experience right there. All right, well, uh, I don't think we're gonna have any problems with experience anytime soon. A little bit of doing this at night and we should be able to enchant all the things. So my plan for today uh, is I would like to enchant my remaining gear, see what kind of good stuff we can get. I might I might take the opportunity now to visit the end. I think I'm well equipped enough. I'd like to make sure my 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 bow is nice and, and beefy, right? Like have a really powerful bow if I can. Uh, maybe a few other things, so we'll see. And then I'd probably like to visit the end, maybe get some end stone, maybe do a little end of dragon killing, I don't know, we'll see. Something neat. I should get a jetpack too. That's absolutely a thing that should be on my to-do list. Jetpack would be cool. Jetpack would be super cool. And I'll look into an option for, you know, 
repairing items because having an item repaired that would be awesome so let me go ahead and uh come back in a moment or two oh it's a self nice and uh i'll have a bunch more experience maybe we'll see i don't know I, I feel like i've collected a lot of experience already so i'm pretty happy with where i'm at and we'll be back all right so uh i moved my enchantment extractor down here so that i'm ready to roll uh i'm gonna make sure that i've got um you know kind of some good options here for what i want to enchant so what i'm going to look for is i want to get probably definitely like looting and i think i might want to disenchant my bow and get my i think i've got some books in here right yes i made a bunch extra um i'm going to disenchant this to get power six off of here and then i'm going to take the bow and re-enchant it hopefully with something cool right nature's mend quick draw yeah i mean i don't know i want i want whatever it tells me it has to be good before i hit the enchant button right and if there's nothing good right then what i'm gonna do is flip my lever get you know a couple levels of experience out of this bad boy and throw a book in there right and then you can probably just be turned into liquid experience right But I don't want to leave it that way. I want to have items transferred to books by default because I want to make sure that, you know, we always get the books. Right? So now we can try again and we'll look like Nature's Mend, kind of cool, you know, not, not terribly exciting. Icy Thorns, also kind of cool. Uh, True Shot 3 sounds nice. What's True Shot do again? True Shot increases the accuracy and speed of arrows and allows them to pierce. All right, I like that. I like that. So let's... You know, I don't know exactly what enchants I want on this thing, but I'm going to go ahead and get True Shot 3. Hopefully it'll give me a bunch of other cool stuff on this bow. And then we'll go from there. Sound like a plan? I hope so, because that's what we're doing. All right, so you in there with True Shot 3. Boom. That wound up with Punch 2, Unbreaking Infinity, and True Shot. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. I don't know, I don't know if I want the punch or not, but I think, would I be able to then throw power on here? I totally can totally can that's not a bad set of stuff but there's like other things i think i would like to get so what i might do is disenchant everything from this bow and then maybe can i have a chest yeah let's get the gold one and what i'm gonna say true shots nice punch infinity power i'm gonna put the good enchants in here and then I'm probably going to put the junkie enchants in here. And I'll probably turn those to experience at some point. Right? How's that sound? Okay, so now let's see if we got anything good here. Flame? I was never a big fan of flame. Um, never, never a huge fan of flame. Vigilante 6. That one increases damage dealt to illager mobs. Not a huge fan of that either. Thorns 3. Thorns might not be terrible to have on your gear, right? Thorns, Thorns is pretty good, isn't it? Let's go ahead and do it and see how it works out. Cool. So that got me magic protection, unbreaking, soulbound, and rebounding. I don't like a lot of that. I was hoping for something a little bit better. We're gonna need more books. Lickety split. More books is gonna have to happen. So magic protection is kind of cool. Soulbound, thorns I liked. Rebounding, unbreaking. Like, my goal is to never die, let's be honest. So Soulbound, I feel, is of limited use to me. Okay, now let's try again. So you've got Punch. Again, not a huge fan of Punch. Unbreaking is kind of cool, but not something I'm going to go and chant off of, and Rebounding. So since none of those are good, and just for fun, I'm going to see if there's anything good on a book that I throw in there. Channeling. Yeah, nothing exciting. Then I'm going to clear out my experience, because remember... Three levels at level 57 is much more experience than three levels at level three. So then what I'm going to do is, is do this a little bit for a few minutes. And we'll be back when and if I find something cool. Deal? Be right back. Ooh, looting four. Looting four. How high does looting get up to? Looting gets up to seven. But maybe four is where I'm going to get with, you know, this current level of enchanting. I feel like I should be able to get better than four. Like, I would hope for, like, five or six even. But, 
That's kind of cool. Might not be a bad option. Might not be a bad option. This guy got punch again. I think I'm going to do that. So I got Bane of Villagers, Nature's Mend, Frost Aspect, and Looting 4. Frost Aspect does sound kind of cool. Freezes surface, water, and lava, allowing... That's Frost Walker. Frost Walker. Frost Aspect slows and weakens the target. Oh, I kind of like it. But what I'm going to do is yank all the enchants off uh, into books because I might want to, you know, recombine these. Like, I like sharpness on this thing, right? So we need to get, like, a high-level sharpness on it. And that's where we're going to be at. So sorting the books. Looting is definitely nice. Nature's Mend is not terrible. Bane of Villagers, I'm going to say, is not all that useful. And Frost Aspect, I kind of like that. I want to try it out and see how it works, right? Uh, so capturing is neat. Capturing is a cool one. What capturing does is makes mobs have a chance to drop their spawn egg. So literally you kill a mob and you might get its egg. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Just for fun, what else are my options here? Occult Aversion and True Shot 3 again. Um... I might want that capturing. Nature's Mend, Smite 6, and another Frost Aspect. All right, go ahead and clear all those off. And what I'm gonna have to do is void all the excess books because we are now out of books again. Well, not void them, but like those enchants that I think are junky, I'm gonna get rid of. All right, I'm gonna do this more off camera now, uh, but capturing is cool, Nature's Mend is cool. Smite, meh, Frost Walker is kinda cool. So all these enchants should be kind of meh. So then I will throw them in here and get books back. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Knowledge of the Ages 1. What's that? I thought I got them all off. Enemy drops are directly converted to experience. Oh, yeah, that is cool. I like that. I like that book. I'm going to keep that one. I, what I, don't, I don't think I'm going to put it on my primary weapon, but imagine having, like, an enchantment-getting weapon. Um... Like a weapon that's dedicated to I want to experience, right? So putting that on there would be kind of cool, right? So there's definitely different levels of it. So I don't know why you would need more levels. But I guess we'll find out, right? Oh, hey, I got Sharpness 6. Booyah. And with that came Knowledge of the Ages, Knockback 3, and Scavenger. Which is Mobs Killed May Roll Their Loot Tables Twice. That's kind of cool. All right, let's make sure you're in green checkmark mode. Yes, give me the books. I like that. Scavenger, huh? What level does that go up to? Three? But sharpness is what I was after, right? Now, I may not go too much more crazy on this current thing because, remember, I can get up to level 100, and we're only at level 60, so we can get a lot higher. So I don't want to go too nuts right now. But getting that crazy is going to require me going to the end and doing some endy things. So what I might do is, you know, apply the cool enchants that we got here. Sharpness, yes. Knockback, scavenger, that's cool. Knockback I've never liked. So you can go in the junk chest. Um, let's just see if there's anything else super spiffy on here. Sweeping edge, meh. Icy thorns, meh. Infinity, I already have infinity as a book, don't I? Probably. Do I have enough experience? We are definitely low. All right, so now I'm going to combine things to be cool, right? So I'm going to do sharpness. And looting four, which will be a nine. And I want capturing on there and scavenger how much would scavenger cost to add seven and this is basically what i'm going to do so there's your scavenger i wouldn't mind capturing which is 15 wow it gets expensive frost aspect to nature's amend i mean that sounds like fun right 19 more levels Whew. getting getting pricey Thirty-three levels to throw Nature's Mend on there. I'll hold off. I'll hold off. Okay. Now for my bow, I would like power, infinity, true shot. That sounds good. 
for my bow, right? So that would be six levels, five levels for infinity, six levels for true shot. And there's probably other enchants I want to get, but I just, I'm not there yet, right? So I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, so that looks like a really nice sword, right? Hopefully. So 16.54, you're saying 12, but I don't know which is really better. I guess we'll find out. We'll test it a little bit and see which does more damage. Um, and then finally, let's get the armor, which would be thorns. Did I not have a good protection? I didn't get a good protection, did I? That's kind of a bummer. Uh, I mean, we have protection seven on you. We have protection five on you. We have magic protection on you. And there's a limit to how much protection you can get anyway, right? So how about for now, we'll just do unbreaking and thorns. Does that sound cool? Yeah, that should be good. Good enough. And we'll get this like even better as time goes by, right? So thorns and five more experiences for the unbreaking. Cool. Okay. Now, do you need an arrow in your inventory for... Awesome. Whatever mod it is that lets you not carry an arrow around when you have infinity is my favorite mod. Everybody's like, Dara, what's your favorite mod? This one. The one that the one that makes infinity not require an arrow in your inventory. Definitely, definitely an awesome mod right there. All right. So now we are in good shape. So I want to make sure I have enough food on me. All right, let's make sure that we do that. How's my how's my this stuff doing? Mm, seen better days. Seen better days. I'll bring some bread. We'll cook up um, some pork might not be a bad idea. Make sure we have enough food. And what I'm going to do is get ready to find the end. So we're going to pop open an Eye of Ender here. And we're going to bring a Waystone with us. A sandy one should be good. Right? And then we'll get our cooked pork chops that we've made. I think 17 should be enough. And then let's sleep through this night and go on an adventure. Now, I did say I wanted a jetpack before I leave, didn't I? I did. What's involved in getting myself a jetpack? That's a good question. Uh, I think there's a quest book under tools and armor. Yeah, buddy. Uh, it's literally on fire, the blazing jetpack. Iron jetpacks. Um, so view dependencies, tools and armor. Oh, some experience. Yay. Oh, good. All right, so hardened jetpack requires hardened steel. So what jetpacks exist, right? So and hardened is the tier one. Tier two is Invar. Then blazing, which needs blazing crystals from Power. Then signalum, which is going to be thermal. Then niotic from Power. Lumium from thermal. Spirited from Power. Enderium from thermal. Nitro from Power. So it goes back and forth between power and thermal for the different tiers of jetpack. Got it. Got it. So I think I should be able to at least get up to probably Signalum. I don't think we've done... Did we do Niotic stuff yet? That's Diet. Well, I might have done that. I think, yeah, actually we might be able to get to Diet. And maybe even Lumium. Let's see. So uh, I think my first things first. Hardened capacitors, basic capacitors... I mean, I should I should probably get in the habit of teaching how things work here. Um, I don't think you know how to make this. And then power capacitor, uh, hardened capacitors would be good to know. And then blazing capacitors would probably be good to know. I kind of want to teach it all the things. So let me come back in a minute once I've done some of this. All right, so I've gotten to the point where I need to automate the power 
crafting system. And it's something I've been kind of avoiding for a little bit. But we're going to do our best to see how it goes. Uh, so we're, we're going to want to see how we can pull this off. Now, there's a few different approaches. Ooh, Iron Crafter was a challenge. Sweet. So basically, I want to have you here and you here, right? And that shouldn't be all that hard. And then we can get some cables. Yeah, we're, we're basically at this point, right, where we want to automate this stuff. And I knew this day was coming. Now then, where is my... Okay, you're here-ish. We're probably going to need more cables. But that should be quick and easy. Okay, uh, let's just run you... I mean, it's a basement, right? That works. It's connected. It works! Uh, now, am I going to need to do something clever like, you know... Now, do I have some weathered limestone? I do. Good, good, good. We're probably going to have to filter what's allowed to be imported here. So I'm going to put you on whitelist mode. So now, hardened... Isn't that what it's called? Oh, energized steel. Right, this is what we want to make. So to make that, it's gold and iron, or gold and copper. I'll go with gold and copper, why not? In that thing. Okay, so now if I were to say that you can whitelist energized steel here, and I wanted to hit start on this, they should go in, they should laser, they should craft, they should import. Nice. Now what if I said I want 10 of these at a time? Will that be a problem? The answer, my friends, is yes. That is, in fact, a problem. So that's not good. So we're going to need to figure out a way to automate this because clearly that is going to be harder than it seems. Cool. Well, not really, no. So I wonder if I can do this with, this is gonna be tricky. All right, let's see if I programmed all the modular router stuff that I think I'm gonna need. So we're gonna want some modular routers. We're gonna want, uh, let's get a couple of sender mark twos. Oh, I didn't teach you how to make pistons, my bad. My bad. You should know how to make pistons by now, absolutely. And sticky piston while you're at it. But I'd prefer you going with green slime balls over the purple. I mean, I know you know how to make the pink slime balls. And theoretically, they're probably more infinite than not. But, meh. We'll see. All right. Modular routers. So I'm going to want a set of sender mark twos and a set of puller mark twos. And then we're going to want a handful of augments, which I may have forgotten how to make the base component of the augment. Because augment cores are different. Let's see, where's my patterns? Give me another 40 of those cooking. And then what you didn't know how to make was this, upgrades. Cool. Yeah, four-ish of those should be good. I don't know, I'm just kind of winging this. I have no idea what I'm doing. So now let's do this. Let's get ourselves an iron chest, and that will be your import chest. Okay. Um, so how should I set this up? A couple ways we could do it. But I think what I'll do is just move you a little bit. And we'll put some... Cables. Nope, I still have cables on me. Good. We'll 
We'll do a crafter here facing upwards. Hey, get back here, you. Into a chest. Okay. And then... The modular router can go here. Okay. And you will pull her from the chest and you will send her to there okay now let's configure you and I'm gonna say that the only things that can go there are going to be the copper and the gold so copper gold with this sender and now that's where the trick is gonna come in so you're going to be whitelist, copper, and gold, and then we're going to want the augment, and you're, the max number of items you can send is two? Is that right? Only insert when inventory has fewer than this many of items when extracting. So if I set you to one, would it do one of each? Is that how it would work? Match. Hmm. I guess we'll see. So if I do this. Ah, good. Okay, that kind of worked, right? Now what I would like to do for a moment, I would really like to remove these guys because I want to have a little test here to see how smart this gets. Oh wow, you guys don't stack. Got it. Good to know. Good to know. Let's put away this extra dude. Let's put away this guy. Let's put away the sleeping bag. Let's put away you. Let's put away you. That should be better. All right. So now let's get some gold and some copper. Oh, I see what you did. You did that. You did that. Okay, that's not what I want. So, Polar Mark 2. Maybe I want you to be augmented with one? That might be a thing that I want. Yeah, see, I don't love that. I don't love that it's doing that. So maybe you should also have a one at a time kind of augment thing. Okay, that's not helping. <laughs> Give me a sec. Maybe a round robin? What does this do? Oh wow, there's no round robin update. Okay, well that's cool. So you, if I put you in here, instead of default any all behavior, the module will match against a single item from its filter on each execution tick. The item will be matched is picked in ascending round robin order, useful for work to work on a series of items in a specific order. That's what I want, right? So then we're gonna whitelist this. We probably don't need the regulator all, and we'll do that. So now watch what happens, you ready? I'm gonna put, these guys in here beautiful beautiful and look how it's not doing anything more right now if I were to throw an energizing orb on here boom how cool is that that's kind of cool right that kind of works that kind of works that seems good. That's a good first step. Okay. So let's teach it how to make blazing crystals next. Right? So that shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we're okay on blaze rods, but not great. 
But my problem is now, what happens if I try to make a blazing crystal and an energized ingot at the same time, right? That would be my, my problem. Uh, so it's either you or four blaze powder, which I can get blaze powder. Can my crusher do, do blaze powder-ish? He might be able to do more. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the one blaze rod equals one of those. That should be fine. So now what I think I wanna do for this is I wanna have a separate sender and you're gonna have whitelist blaze rods. And you're going to also whitelist blaze rods here so that he can pull blaze rods, okay? And then you're going to have a regulator augment set to one because we only want one blaze rod to go in at a time. So in theory, I think I know a thing that's gonna break. How about we say redstone mode high for this to work, right? And I'm gonna put this, this, and this in there. Now it's not gonna do nothing until I give it a redstone signal that says you're allowed to run. Interesting. Oh, because I didn't get I didn't set you where you're allowed to go. That makes sense. So now if I do this, he's gonna send. Okay, cool. And then he'll do that. And that'll be it'll take a second, obviously, because we've only got the one laser dude, right? And then I need you to whitelist this being pulled out. Okay. But here's the deal. If we had, I'm gonna turn you off again. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm gonna disable you for a sec. Well, you send all three. Bad news bears. Okay. So with that said, what if I set you, don't execute any subsequent modules on this tick if this module did something. Don't execute any subsequent module on a tick if this module did not do anything. Okay. Okay. That's still a problem. Interesting. All right, so there's, there's a couple options I could go with here. Uh, I was hoping that with this set to terminate on match, it would be like, hey, there's already a golden copper over there, so I'm gonna like stop moving forward. But no, that's not the case because it didn't send a golden copper. The only time that would probably work is if I was doing two energized at a time, which is like, okay, cool, but no. So that has potentials to fail. I might be able to do this with XNet. I think what I'm gonna do is wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. I will try this with XNet and then if that doesn't work, what I think I might do is use like the redstone signal locks or unlocks auto crafting, or maybe even redstone pulse inserts next set. And what I could do is like check for the existence of items in the orb. If there's anything in there emit a redstone signal that prevents a timer from pulsing. So like if there's something here, pulse, like, like don't pulse the thing, don't insert any items in the chest. Once this is empty, let it pulse like once every two or three seconds and that could be cool but i want to try xnet real quick but let's do that next episode so for now devil 20 signing off hope you guys enjoyed the episode we'll come back next time automate this a little further once i get this really solidly automated i'm gonna craft my jetpacks and then we're gonna head to the end get some end stone get some even better enchanting capabilities and go from there sound like a plan for now devil 20 signing off hope you guys enjoyed the episode take it easy